Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about my January favorites. I've been on YouTube for over two years now and I've always wanted to do a monthly favorites video, but every time I decide to do one, I kind of do it at the last minute and then I'm not really sure what to talk about because I kind of forget what I wanted to talk about that month. So this month I actually kept track of what my favorite things were for the month of January, so I would actually have things to talk about. So let's just get right into it. The first things I'm going to talk about are movies. So the first two I want to talk about are Creepshow 1 and 2. These movies are just really fun and I absolutely love them. I actually picked up Creepshow 2 first. My library was having a book sale and they were also selling a bunch of DVDs and Creepshow 2 was one of the DVDs they were selling, so I picked this up and a few other horror movies. So because I had number two, I decided I had to pick up the first one because you can't have the sequel without having the original. So I actually found this one just at Best Buy. I was really lucky and it was there when I went, so Creepshow 1 and 2, definitely check these out if you haven't seen them. Another favorite movie from the month of January is the movie Suspiria. I talked about this movie in my recent DVD haul that I posted. I absolutely love this movie, so make sure to check it out. Something else I've been watching a lot of in the month of January is Tales from the Crypt. So this is just a bunch of like short creepy episodes. I love watching them. I've been watching maybe one or two episodes every night. It's just so much fun to watch. And the last movie I have to talk about is the new It movie. I finally picked this up and I haven't actually gotten around to watching it yet since I saw it in theaters when it came out back in September. So yeah, I'm really happy to have this movie. Speaking of movies, I also wanted to mention Shudder. If you haven't heard of Shudder, it's basically like Netflix, but for horror movies. And they actually have a lot of really good movies on there. So I've been watching a lot of different movies on Shudder for the past couple months. So recently I've watched Street Trash, Black Christmas, Planet Terror, Sleepaway Camp, American Psycho, and a bunch of other ones that I can't think of right now. And they also have original like Shudder content on there too, so I think it's stuff that you can't really find anywhere else. And it's only $5 a month, so it's like super cheap. The next thing I'm going to talk about is a book, and that is The Gunslinger, which is the first book from the Dark Tower series. And I actually haven't gotten very far into this book, and my goal for 2018 was to read more books, so I'm definitely falling behind on that. I'm going to try to read more because it's really good so far like I'm really liking it there's always so much stuff going on it can be hard to just sit down and read a book so have to make time for this because it's really good so far and kind of on the topic of books but not really a book I bought this journal and I've been looking for a journal just to write down like my YouTube video ideas and stuff like that and I saw this one at Winners and it just caught my eye because of the space theme I absolutely love the cover on this and this journal is by the brand Nikki Strange the next thing I want to talk about are podcasts. So one podcast I've been listening to a lot is the No Sleep Podcast. And shout out to Sam, also known as the Macabre Spirit here on YouTube, who introduced me to the No Sleep Podcast. If you haven't heard of the No Sleep Podcast, it's basically just a bunch of different scary stories read by different narrators. And it originally started as a subreddit, so people would write in like their scary stories, and then eventually someone decided to make a podcast out of it. So it's just really fun and really creepy. The next podcast I've been loving for the month of January is called Time Well Wasted. And this podcast was put out by a few of my friends. And and basically they talk about just all kinds of different hilarious topics and these guys are just absolutely hilarious in real life so if anyone should start a comedy podcast it should be them because they are just so funny. For example, some of the things that they've talked about on one of their recent podcasts were ridiculous and stupid Canadian laws, the art and science of dumpster diving, and some of the craziest sexual fantasies out there. If you like to laugh, this is definitely the podcast for you. And you can find them on iTunes, they also have a website. I'll post all of their links down below, so make sure to check them out and subscribe so you can hear about their future content. The next thing I wanna talk about is something totally random and it is this label maker. I just decided that I wanna be more organized and I want to label things, and I came across this label maker and I thought it was so cool. And what I like about this label maker is that it makes like old school embossed labels. So these are the types of labels that it makes. So basically it comes with this black tape and then you just kind of select the letter or number that you want and then you punch it 
and then it makes an awesome old school looking label. So I've been absolutely loving this so far. I want to organize the spices in my kitchen, so I'm planning to buy a bunch of small containers and then I want to label all of them. And this was super cheap. I bought it for $7 on eBay. You can also find it on Amazon and I will post the links down below if you are interested in getting a label maker like this one. The next thing I want to talk about is my new phone case. I was just really excited about this case because it's so cool. It is this phone case. It's called like a waterfall phone case or something like that. So basically it has the glitter in it and it moves around when you move your phone. So yeah, I'm 12 and had to get this phone case, but it is pretty awesome. So this phone case is by the brand Casemate and they actually make really good cases. Around the edge is like a separate rubber piece and then you put the plastic phone case around that. So I think it actually protects your phone pretty well and it also is really fun. The next thing I want to talk about is my new wireless headphones or earbuds. So they are these Beats by Dre wireless Bluetooth headphones. Whenever I picture wireless headphones, I think of the Apple ones and they're not connected by anything. They just kind of go in your ears, but I'm not a huge fan of the Apple earbuds. They just don't really fit in my ears right. I really like the fit of these Beats by Dre ones because they come with different ends on them so you can switch them out and you can just put in whatever ones fit your ears the best. So basically you just put this around your head and then they're like magnetized together when you're not wearing them and then you just put them in your ears. I've actually been using them a lot more than I thought I was going to so this was an awesome purchase and this is what the box looks like. And they also come with this handy case so you can put them in here so they don't get all tangled up when you put them in your bag or wherever. The next thing I want to talk about is my new Funko Pop. I got the Carrie Funko Pop. I just thought she was so cute so I had to get her and I just got her at a local store that sells all kinds of different collectibles and they had a whole bunch of Funko Pops. It has been like over two years since I bought my last Funko Pop so I only have one other Funko Pop and I decided that I'm not going to get any more because I don't want to start collecting all of them because they have so many awesome ones but I just decided it wouldn't hurt to get one more so hopefully this doesn't start an obsession of getting all the Funko Pops because I really like them. And I just love the box on this. I love the back. It shows Carrie from the movie. My next favorite is my new coffee mug. This thing is seriously the best coffee mug ever. So this is a Thermos brand coffee mug and this mug keeps my coffee hot all day, which is so awesome because some days I work out of town so I just fill it up in the morning and take it with me and that way I don't have to buy coffee halfway through the day. Especially since it's been so cold outside, I don't really feel like walking to Tim Hortons down the street and it's too close to justify driving to so I have to walk there. I just can't drive there, it's too close. So this thing has just been a huge lifesaver. It was a little bit pricey. It was originally $30, but it was on sale for $20. But I figure with the amount of money I will save by not going to buy coffee at Tim Hortons, this will save me lots of money in the end. So definitely would recommend this. And I love the opening on it too. The next thing I want to talk about is a couple clothing items and the one I'm actually wearing today. So it's this shirt by Free People. I absolutely love Free People stuff and I love their long sleeve shirts that have cool sleeves. So for example, the one I'm wearing has this really cool crocheted sleeve on it. And then the other Free People shirt I got is like this kind of waffle knit shirt, I guess you would call it. So it just has a v-neck, and this one has really fun lace sleeves on it. And I bought these two shirts on Depop, which is an app where you can buy and sell stuff. Definitely my go-to place to get free people stuff for cheaper because full price free people stuff is pretty expensive. The next thing I'm going to talk about is a pair of boots. So I got these Sorel boots, and I believe these are called the Joan of Arctic boots. And it's been pretty cold here in Canada. So I was looking for a pair of really good winter boots and these ones have been really good so far. I've been using them when I shovel the driveway and they've been awesome. They're supposed to keep your feet warm up to minus 30 degrees Celsius. I'm not sure what that is in Fahrenheit. And they are also waterproof and you can remove this insert on the inside if you want to wash them, which is really nice. 
I'm not sure what the regular price of these boots are, but I actually got them on clearance at Sport Check for $100, so that was a really good deal. The next thing I want to talk about is the Misfit show that they're going to be playing in Newark, New Jersey in May. I was totally bummed because I missed their last two shows. They had one in Las Vegas and they had one in LA back in December. I was really hoping to make it to one of those shows, but it just didn't work out. So I was really excited when they announced they're going to be playing another show in New Jersey, which is a little bit closer to me. It's about a nine and a half hour drive from where I live, so it is still kind of a long drive, but I don't even care. I will drive that far to go see the Misfits. The tickets just went on sale on Friday, and luckily I was able to score two tickets. They're pretty much the worst seats ever. Like, it's all the way in the back, like at the side of the stage, so I'm hoping I'll be able to see from where my seats are, but... I'm just excited to even be going. The tickets sold out really fast and I just couldn't justify paying $250 plus fees for the general admission floor seats. I would have loved to stand on the floor to see them, but after having to pay for a hotel for the weekend and gas money to get there and back, I just couldn't justify it. So I got pretty bad seats, but it'll be awesome to go see them. I'm super excited. If anyone else is going, let me know. The last thing I want to talk about, which isn't a favorite, but it's something I want to mention, are the changes to the YouTube partnership program. Now with the changes, in order to be a YouTube partner, you have to have at least 4,000 hours of watch time in the past 12 months, and then also at least 1,000 subscribers. So based on this new criteria, my channel no longer qualifies to be a part of the YouTube partnership program, meaning that I can no longer monetize my videos. So this definitely sucks, but I'm not going to stop making videos or anything like that. I really enjoy making videos and interacting with all of you guys, and if any Thing. It's really just motivated me to make more content and make better content, so I have a lot of awesome ideas that I'm really looking forward to. However, since this has happened, the YouTube community has really come together, especially the horror community, to kind of just be there for each other and support each other, and that has just been so awesome. And I wanted to shout out Spooky Astronaut's channel. She has started a playlist of different horror YouTubers' videos, and it is called Save Horror Tube. So she started this playlist, and she's requesting that people just put it on and play it in the background to just kind of help them to get to that 4,000 hour watch time criteria, and also to help people discover other awesome horror YouTubers. So make sure to check out the Save Horror Tube playlist, I'll put a link to it down below. I also want to give a shout out to the YouTube channel Bloodbath and Beyond. They were requesting that people submit an ad for their channel, and they're going to take 30 of those and show it on their channel. So I submitted an ad to them, I don't know if they're going to play it or anything like that. I just think it's super awesome that they are trying to help out smaller YouTubers and it is very much appreciated. So kudos to you guys. That concludes my January favorites. Let me know what you guys thought of this video. Leave a comment down below if you want to see future monthly favorites videos for me and make sure to check out the links in the description below so you can check out the things I talked about in my video today. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one.